Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. I want to do another list view kind of thing like that, but instead of showing just words, I'd like to show thumbnail images. I don't want to ruin the one we have, though, so I'm going to go into the videos of views.py. I'm going to keep that class we already have. I'm going to make a new one that also uses that list view code, but we use a different template so we get a different look. All right, so I'll call this one video thumbs view because they're going to be thumbnail images. Of course, I can name this anything I want, but I'm still inheriting that list view code because I'm using that generic Django code so I don't have to rewrite all that. But I'm still going to marry it up with the video model, but I certainly can't use that default template or it would just look exactly like that again. So I have to specify a different template name and the syntax is template underscore name equal and then quotation marks and then the path to the template and it it starts at the first child under the templates folder now you can name that file anything you want i'm going to call it video thumbs because it's going to show thumbnail images so if you don't specify a template name it looks for the default name otherwise it'll use this name and i think we are good except for there is no template name video video thumbs so we're gonna have to go create that rather than type everything up from scratch i'll make a copy of video list.html and rename it to video thumbs and use that as my starting point paste it in that same folder rename it to video underscore thumbs and then we'll go to video underscore thumbs let me close up some of these others video templates videos video thumbs we're not going to use a table so we'll dump all that css code um video click any row we're not going to use a table here either so we'll dump that we do need the for video and object list thing um, we're not doing this so get rid of that we do need the end for and i'm not going to have table rows so i'm going to go back to making this an ahref equal and then we'll need quotation marks and then the URL is going to be the same where it's HTTP YouTube watch V equal and then the data from the table and we need the closing a tag something doesn't look right there uh, not quotation mark in front of HTTPS all right now we just have to put the video thumbnail in between there though I don't have those handy right now so I'm just going to put XXX as kind of a placeholder and a line break this is going to get more complicated, so uh, let's uh, just make sure all our ducks in a row. Oh, this should be click any thumbnail to watch its video. Um, let's see, I've got my, okay, so my template looks okay. And I, what did I do in views? I'm calling that from here now. Oh, I don't have any way to get to it yet. All right, um, I have to go into this views.py and grab that class name. I'm just going to copy that. And then in the urls.py for videos, I have to import that class name so I can use it. And the new line will be pretty much the same as this, so I'll just copy that. Paste it in as the next line down. It doesn't matter where, I mean. All right, and this one we'll call video thumbs. And it has to call that video thumbs view. And we'll say thumbs or thumb is the, is the word that, tells us we're looking for the thumbnails page all right uh, before we make this any more complicated let's just see if this part works so let me go run the dev server and control click the link and open the home page and browse to slash video slash thumbs plural i think yep and now as i point to these you can see each one is a link to some page and if i click one it takes me to that page so let's assume that part works now we just have to go replace the X's with the thumbnail which lucky for us is pretty easy because YouTube makes it pretty easy I have to get into that video underscore thumbs dot HTML template first replace the X's in the line break with an image tag and now the source is going to be a little tricky I don't want to type it out here I have it off to the side, so I'm going to go copy it and paste it in here. 
and it's going to be this funny looking URL. We're still using video.youtube vid for that code that tells us which video we're talking about. In mqdefault.jpg is just the default thumbnail for that particular video. Okay, so I'll run it again. Back to video slash thumbs. Well, wonders never cease. It actually worked. Uh, so if we click one, it should take us to it. Yep, that looks like that video for that thumbnail. So I'd say we're doing pretty good here. We can make it look a little bit better. Uh, let's throw in some CSS to tidy it up a bit. Again, I won't go through it step by step, and I'm just going to do it right here in the same page. You can style these things however you want. I'm just going to make them presentable. And you can reuse the CSS code or throw it away, whatever you want. I'm using Descendant Selector, so I don't have to put a lot of class equals and stuff like that in the tags. I'll just keep that to a minimum so you can see the HTML and Django template language code in there. And then we'll run it and browse to the site, which will take us to the home page. We need to browse to slash video slash thumbs. That looks a little better, a little space between them, little drop shadows that kind of raise a little when you touch the mouse pointer to them. And let's see, if I click one, it should still take me to that video, and it does. So all systems go with the thumbnails. Now keep in mind that you can use the data from that table however you want in your HTML. For example, typically you want to put an alt equal in an image tag uh, and put in there text that's read aloud by screen readers for the blind. So we could say alt equal and then put the video title in there. And again, don't forget to use the double curly braces to indicate you mean video title coming from the database. And similarly, um, we could put a tool tip on each one, a screen tip with title equal. And again, you could uh, show the video title, whatever you want to show. Um, we'll just put that in there. So that means when they touch the mouse pointer to the thumbnail now, they'll see that video title. Let's just take it for a spin to make sure. Yep, that works. And again, and you could put in the author, the title, the title and the author, the title and the description, whatever you want. I mean, obviously, you want to keep it very brief, so even the description might be overkill, but we can take a look and see how it looks. All right, and um, run that again, and go back to video slash thumbs. Now, when we touch the mouse pointer to one, we should see the title and the description. And yeah, it is a bit long, and you can't really format that particular pop-up, so... You know, it's kind of a judgment call whether it's worth it or not to put those in. One thing that's not so great is they're showing all the thumbnails at once. It would be better if we had some way to, they could click a link or something and say, I want to see HTML, CSS videos and just those thumbnails show. Or I just want to see Django videos and just those thumbnails show. And so we'll do that in the next lesson. See you there.